Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a uh, small application in Excel uh, for project management. Uh, to illustrate, I'm going to use a very small project. I have five activities. Activity A, B, and C, D, E. And as you can see, we have the president's uh, relationship. B is um, after A, and C is after A also. D is after C, and E is after B and D. And of course, if you know a little bit about resource management, you usually take the, the one which the longest time. So if this, if we arrive at this point with the time of 26 days and this is 38, we're gonna do E after finishing 38 days. So I'm gonna apply um, Monte Carlo simulation to try to come out with uh, you know the finishing time. And I'm here. I have I have um, used uh, two distributions. This is the, the the time for each activity. So activity A is from one to eight days. Activity B is one to thirty six. Activity C is actually normally distributed fifteen as a mean and three point seven five as standard deviation. Then we have D, which is from seven to twenty two, and E from four to ten. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna generate random number of projects I can generate a huge number here so let me use uh, a new formula in Excel if you have it it's called sequence okay I'm gonna use 10,000 rows one column start one step one so this is a 10,000 different projects I'm gonna simulate now I'm gonna simulate the time for activity A B, C, D, E, the five activities. For all of these A, B, and D, E, I'm gonna use a function called rand between. Rand between, not rand array, two eight. And this is rand between one and thirty six. Now for C, it's a little bit different. I'm going to use the inverse probability and I also want it to be an integer so I'm going to write integer and then rand sorry uh, normal dot inverse so it's an inverse probability the probability is rand so it's a number between 0 and 1 the mean the one I have here which is 15 standard deviation 3.75 so this will generate random numbers with a mean of 3 and standard deviation 3.75 and I will cancel all the you know decimal points by using integer. Okay, so here I have four, fourteen. For D and E is the same thing. It's rand between rand between seven and twenty-two. Finally, it's rand between four and ten. Okay, so this will generate the activity. For all of these uh, projects, I can double click and I will get, you know, 10,000 of these activities generated. Now, the second step is now I need to build this uh, diagram, this chart here. So I'm going to use, and I'm going to start with, uh, you know, activity A is already available, so I don't need to replicate it. Now I need the activity A, B. So what is the time to finish A and B together? So it's going to be equal to the time of A plus time of B. In the second line here, I have AC. And it's going to be C plus A. I'm, I'm going to drag it, just give me a second. And then I have A, C, D. Okay, I cannot go and I cannot do ABE now, I just need to finish ACD first. And it's equal to AC plus D. You can also add A and C and D, it's the same thing. Now the trick here is in E. E will depend on the longest time between A B and A C D. So I need to find the longest time. And at first of all I'm gonna write what is the longest time. So A B I'm going to use this sign or ACD and this is equal to the maximum between ACD and AB and finally 
is going to be including so this cell including e so whatever happens here plus e is going to equal the answer plus e which is which i can take from the cell which has e now for this instance number one i have 62 as to the time of the project all of these values i can drag but you know before dragging to make it easier shift it to the left take these numbers double click and now if you like to separate them it's okay you can do it okay this is it now if you know a little bit about project management i need the critical path which is the critical path now in this simple example the critical path can be either be a b e and a c d e and what makes it critical is the evaluation of which is the longest time a b or a c d so i'm gonna uh, select the critical by evaluating which is uh, equal to the maximum is it acd or abe so if acd is equal to the maximum if this is true then acd is the critical path or i can write i can write the whole path to include e this is a simple example so it works acd -E. otherwise the critical path is abe double click and I have it for 10,000 projects and what's the interesting part so this is a project duration and I can do something like a histogram so insert histogram and as you can see somehow it looks like a normal distribution And you can ask questions and answer them. So what is the probability of me finishing the project within, uh, I don't know, 31 days or before 31 days? So this is 31 days somewhere here. Okay, so it's this value. Okay, which is not more than 10, 15%. You can transform this into percentages. It's not that hard. You need to know the counts and you divide them. You can also use that, that analysis, but uh, again, I, wanna, I don't want to make this video longer than what it is. Hopefully this is useful. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions about it, uh, leave it in the comments. Thank you very much.